The Aeolian Harp by Samuel Taylor Coleridge Composed at Clevedon, Somersetshire My pensive Sarah, thy soft cheek Reclined thus on mine arm, Most soothing sweet it is To sit beside our cot our cot o'ergrown with white-flowered jasmine and the broad-leaved myrtle, meet emblems they of innocence and love, and watch the clouds that late were rich with light, slow saddening round, and mark the star of eve, serenely brilliant, such would wisdom be shine opposite. How exquisite the sense snatched from yon beanfield, and the world so hushed, the stilly murmur of the distant sea tells us of silence. And that simplest lute, placed lengthways in the clasping casement, hark, how by the desultory breeze caressed, like some coy maid half yielding to her lover, it pours such sweet upbraiding as must needs tempt to repeat the wrong. And now its strings boldlier swept, the long sequacious notes over delicious surges sink and rise. Such a soft floating witchery of sound as twilight elfins make when they are at eve, voyage on gentle gales from fairyland, where melodies round honey-dropping flowers, footless and wild, like birds of paradise, nor pause, nor perch, hovering on untamed wing. Oh, the one life within us and abroad, which meets all motion and becomes its soul, a light in sound, a sound-like power in light, rhythm in all thought, and joyance everywhere. Methinks it should have been impossible not to love all things in a world so filled, where the breeze warbles and the mute still air is music slumbering on her instrument. And thus, my love, as on the midway slope of yonder hill I stretch my limbs at noon, whilst through my half-closed eyelids I behold the sunbeams dance like diamonds on the main, and tranquil muse upon tranquility. Full many a thought uncalled and undetained, and many idle flitting fantasies traverse my indolent and passive brain, as wild and various as the random gales that swell and flutter on this subject lute. And what if all of animated nature be but organic harps diversely framed that tremble into thought, as o'er them sweeps, plastic and vast, one intellectual breeze, at once the soul of each and God of all? But thy more serious eye, a mild reproof darts, O beloved woman, nor such thoughts, dim and unhallowed, dost thou not reject, and biddest me walk humbly with my God. Meek daughter in the family of Christ, well hast thou said, and holily dispraised, these shapings of the unregenerate mind, bubbles that glitter as they rise and break, on vain philosophies I babbling spring, 
for never guiltless may I speak of him, the incomprehensible, save when with awe I praise him, and with faith that inly feels, who with his saving mercies healed me, a sinful and most miserable man, wildered and dark, and gave me to possess peace and this cot, and thee, heart-honored maid.